In this video we'll look at how to activate your Wingate installation when you don't have direct access to the internet. Normally the quickest way to activate your license is to activate online and when you have a connection to the internet the activation process only takes a minute or so. If you don't have access to the internet then you need to use offline activation. Here I have a new installation that has not yet been activated. As I don't have internet access on this machine I will need to activate my license offline. I'm going to activate a trial license so that I can get my Wingate server configured before I deactivate my live server. As you can see, when I start the engine and try to log into the administration console, I see a pop-up telling me that a license is required. When I click OK, the license activation manager appears, which allows me to activate a license. Now, as I have no connection to the internet on this machine, I will choose Activate Offline. I click Next and then I can either choose to enter a purchased license key or activate a 30 day free trial. To activate a purchased license key, I simply copy and paste the license key from my order invoice into the key field and click Next. I'm going to activate a 30 day free trial though, so I'll select the trial option and click Next. Now I see an information screen with directions to click the Make Request button which will generate a file for me to save and upload to the listed URL, which is activation.cubic.com. When I click Make Request, I'm prompted to select a location to save a file called licenserequest.req. I'll save mine to the desktop. Now I need to copy and paste my file onto my USB stick. Once that's done, I can take my USB stick to a machine that does have internet access and complete the activation process. So now I've loaded my USB stick onto a machine with internet access. I'll open my web browser and go to activation.cubic.com. Notice the browse button. When I click this, I am able to browse my local computer and select the file to be uploaded. When I click open, I see the file it was selected. Now I can click the upload button. Notice the security bar. Click this and choose download file. Now I simply save my license file back onto my USB stick and take that USB stick back to the Wingate server. Back at the Wingate server now and I simply click import activation file and choose the file location. Finally, click the finish button and restart the Wingate server. To complete this installation I just need to select my user database provider and Wingate will restart one final time. Now I have a licensed installation of Wingate without a working connection to the internet. And just a quick reminder about Wingate licenses. The Wingate server will not run without an activated license. There is no limit to the number of times you can activate and deactivate your license. However, a license will only ever activate on one machine at a time. If you need to move your Wingate installation to a new server, you will need to deactivate your license before you activate it on the new installation. We recommend activating a trial license when you need to move your installation. This allows you to configure and test Wingate on the new server before deactivating your live server. For more information and to try Wingate 7 free for 30 days, visit www.wingate7.com. Thanks for watching.